Mm. I love fun facts. <laughs> These are the things I get to regurgitate for a long time. They're not from Panama. They're from Ecuador. Airport. Clean and easy. Bienvenido a Quito. Uh, we just landed in Quito. Beautiful flying in, came through huge, massive clouds, dropping into enormous mountain valleys, which was really impressive. Uh, the airport is highly super efficient and clean. Um, customs was easy, it was fast, everyone was really friendly. Modern airport, really well kept inside and out. Um, we elected to have a driver pick us up and then take us from the airport to the hotel. Um, if you do a round trip one, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. Ours was 90 US uh, with a driver that doesn't speak English. There was an offer to have $140 for someone who does speak English. I speak some Spanish, so save the dollars there. He was waiting outside with the sign. Uh, he's now just paying the ticket to get us out of the parking garage. And we're excited to be here, grabbed a coffee. And uh, I will say, come out the airport slowly. Uh, I immediately felt when they got off the plane, the head was a little achy. A little breathy. Andrew was fine. You felt good? Yeah, completely normal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, take your time. Um, but we're really excited to be here and welcome to Quito.
Hi. Welcome to our room at Casa Gangotena. Uh, just learned after a wonderful check-in, super seamless sneezing. This was a home owned by the Gangotena family. They lived here for over a hundred years. So we're staying in former bedrooms. It's a really great place, but uh, let's give you a little lay of the land of what's here. So little things to notice when you check into a hotel room, like power doesn't go on in the room unless you have a key. So ask for two, keep it on so you don't have to worry about always dipping them in and out, especially with the air conditioning on. Bathroom, let's see the room. So you wanna get all the anxiety, all the worry out of your head before the trip starts. So we know like here in Ecuador, we're not supposed to drink the water. So they've already have mineral water there. So wash your toothbrush off, right? There she is, hi, we're in Quito. Uh, how many towels do you have? Do you need some extra ones? Look how much soap you have. Like just see what you need. Make the request as you're walking out the door. Sockets, check it ahead of time. Luckily here it's the same for us as the United States, right? So lovely bathroom. Lovely you have a bathtub? Yeah. Bathtub. Shower. Um, yeah, the place is really well equipped. Robes. Yeah, well, well equipped. So let's see what else we got. So there is a little heater if it does get cold. And remember the temperature changes here drastically. Uh, and there's no heating in the room. There's no heating in the room. They only have air conditioning. Uh, but this is an interesting one. They have a safe, but you have to use a swipe card with it, which is atypical of us. So ask questions, figure it out now. There are two extra pillows. Uh, and then here in the room, you have more flat water, which is great. These are things you want to just check out because don't worry about it later when it's late at night and you want to have to find a convenience store. Like stock up on everything now, get it out of the way. Um, and everything is really simple and easy. So go into the room, give it a whirl and get the answers done. Put your Wi-Fi in, do all the obvious stuff, but just get it over with so you can walk out and enjoy without any stress. Right? I mean, this is one of the most dramatic landscapes of the city I've ever seen. Hi, welcome to uh, a really stunning hotel in a wonderful, beautiful location. It's gonna be a good trip. Hotel is absolutely lovely. Um, and just really explaining the lay of the land of where we are. And we thought the best way to do it with the limited amount of time we had was let's get a walking tour. So we're going to go be taking one. Um, and we're going to cover the historic center of Quito. So let us get the lay of the land so we can pick what we want to do tomorrow. And easy way to do it. So don't have to do a full day thing. Do a two hour thing. Let them point out the key points. Do your research later and then go spend more time dedicated to the next day. So, like, he was pointing out the four different churches that were right off of the square. How they were all built at the same period of time. Uh, the basilica came a hundred years later. Um, oh, the flowers.
normally. Yeah. And they put some stores where you can see like souvenirs, handicrafts, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so it's common in this part of the square and then in the street that they put another restaurant that it's very popular it's like famous they call hasta la vuelta señor they had very nice food okay so, until the return sir right oh wow Whoa. <laughs> we'll take two boxes. Did it, <laughs> Whoa. Did it pop? It popped. <laughs> <laughs>
in big boxes, all the seeds covered with banana leaves. Okay? Each day you mix to give extra oxygen and permit the fermentation. Fermentation is the most important process to get a good quality of chocolate. Okay? So after these seven days, what the, the, the seed meat is to absorb the flavors from the flesh. And the seeds are 50% fat, 50% paste. Then we put in beds and dry the seeds. After we dry the seeds, ladies from the communities start to divide the seeds for sizes because you can't just toast it all of them because the small ones are gonna burn and this destroy the flavor of a good chocolate. It's the same with coffee, right? So they toast it and then they peel. And when they peel, they put in a machine that it's like a blender and stay three days without sugar, water, nothing, start to be liquid, right? This uh, was an experiment. Well, they discovered for a mistake, the guy that made this process was just one day. So Friday night, he's supposed to turn off and he forget. And after the weekend, when he come back on Monday, he saw the machine is still working with that chocolate. And he said, oops. But when he tried, it was more smooth, it was nicer. So in that process, cocoa beans change chemically to chocolate. Mm. So if you see the chemical of cocoa and chocolate are different. Mm. And it's just in this process, the three days blender that changed chemically to chocolate, okay? What is this man's name? Everyone says thank you. <laughs> I, I'm sure of that. Right? <laughs> I'm sure. Remember that less than 60% it's not considered that chocolate, it's sugar, okay? Right. And could you see this heel? We're just of cocoa. Yeah. So we were very, very famous. They had a famous phrase, the seeds of cocoa were considered like a gold mm. seed. Mm. And in the coast, they said, ah, you are like a, a cocoa guy yeah. because was like a golden seed. So now if you want to buy, it's time to do it, right? I suggest also to buy cocoa butter, that this is gonna be very, very good with your skin. Let's do one of the chili, one of the uh, mandarin, mandarin. I picked two. I got the chili, the mandarin, and then do you wanna do the Hundred and the ninety-five. Yeah, let's do those. Yeah, the hundred yeah. and the ninety-five. Yeah. Do you want cocoa butter? Are you gonna use it? Si, sí, claro, claro, no, like it's incredible. So welcome to one of those beautiful, uh, uh, exquisite views of all of Quito, and it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's just beginning to light up. Nice. Yeah. Oh, in the elevator, heading down for a cocktail before dinner after a glorious day. Walking around Quito, she's just nodding and agreeing. I had some sweet squirt in my mouth. Yeah, that's, that, that sums up the day. Cheers. Heading to? We're going to Noema for dinner. And get that camera the other side. Look out that go that back window and that's gonna be weird, but wow.
script. Which one next? Let's do it. How about a piece here, babe? Pictures? Okay, let's see for a little bit. This is made with the skin or in guava. Basically, this is also the soup from the ceviche. And finally, you have a toast here with the rocks. And it's a snack, so to become an echo, made with green plantain. And we recommend that you crush it on the top of your ceviche to give it more texture. This is tight. Maybe something from the new world or from the old world? Uh, new world. Do you have a Chile or no. Malbec or no. uh, I don't have from Chile, but something very similar is that I have to Apparently, their uh, pastry shop is world famous. <laughs> Let's see what? It looks like a marshmallow toadstool. <laughs> And it's crunchy. It's freezing and crunchy coconut. Hey, where should I look? Point. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. We will be back.